here on YouTube. That is the main reason why my electricity is going out. I say, if you enjoy DIY, the oh, <laughs> you're interrupting my video. Huh? Oh gosh, okay. and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the new YouTuber tag. Now I was tagged by the one and only beautiful Danielle Minnesota Vlogs and she tagged me I would say a little over a week ago and it's taken me forever to get this video recorded and uploaded so I'm so sorry it's taken me forever but yeah if you guys don't know who Danielle is then you definitely need to go check her out. She is awesome. She's so sweet and I give her so much credit. Like, I don't know if I can do what she does. She's a full-time mom. She works and she does YouTube. So that is a lot of work and she gets it done. She does her YouTube videos. She goes to work. And like I said, she's also a mom. So I definitely look up to her because like I said, I don't know if I would be able to work, be a full-time mom and do YouTube videos. We also both started following each other when we only had, I would say, about like five subscribers each or even less. We started following each other from the very, very beginning. So it's really cool to see both of our channels growing. And I think it's also awesome that we have stayed connected. And I do consider her one of my really good friends here on YouTube. So like I said, if you have not checked her out, definitely go check her out. I'm going to leave the link to her video and her channel down below. So. After you watch my video, go check her out and subscribe. So there are going to be 15 questions in this new YouTuber tag. I have them all down on a piece of paper and yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to try not to ramble. I can get a little carried away. So let's just start so this video is not a million hours long. So question number one is, what is your name? Kind of obvious. My name is Jillian Starling. So question number two is, where are you from? I am from Orlando, Florida. I lived in Florida until I was about 23, but I'm currently living in Georgia. Question number three is, how tall are you? I am 5'8", so I am pretty tall for a girl, and I still wear my heels, although I am so tall. Question number four is, how many siblings do you have? I have one older sister. Her name is Rebecca. She is three years older than me, and she still lives in Florida. Question number five. Is this your first channel? Yes, this is my first channel and my only channel. I did have another channel, my family vlogging channel, that I did create after I created this channel, but I decided just to delete that channel just because I'm not a vlogger. I don't vlog every single day, so I felt like I wasn't putting enough effort into that channel and I would kind of ignore that channel, so I just wanted to focus it on one channel and that's why I only have this one, which is my main channel. Question number six is what is your channel about? My channel I think is about more than one thing because I have a passion for more than one thing. I really love DIYs. So you will see a lot of different DIYs on my channel, especially from Dollar Tree. I like affordable DIYs and I like to share my ideas with you guys. Also, I really do love cleaning videos. I think they're so motivating. They definitely get me up and motivated when I have no type of motivation to clean or organize my house. So you'll definitely see a lot of cleaning and organizing videos on my channel as well. And you will also see a lot of hauls. I love shopping. I'm pretty much addicted to shopping and I love to do haul videos. I love to watch haul videos. So you will see a lot of different hauls from many different stores, whether it's Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Anytime I do a really big haul, I usually will always share it with you guys. And as far as beauty, I really do love beauty and enjoy watching those types of videos. I'm just not a beauty expert myself, so you will rarely ever see those types of videos on my channel. I will here and there maybe do a get ready with me or do an Ipsy Unbagging, which is a beauty subscription that I get every month. So yeah, so those are probably the only beauty related items that will be on my channel. Question number seven, why should anyone subscribe to your channel? I say if you enjoy DIYing, hauls, cleaning videos, organizing videos, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel because that is what my channel is focused around. I love doing those types of videos and I really do try to upload at least three to four times a week. So I do try to stay on a consistent schedule don't have specific days, but I do try to upload as much as possible. I also 
really love interacting with you guys, making new friends and connecting with you guys. And I love to check out your channel as well. If you have a channel, you should always let me know down in the comments so then I can check out your channel as well. Question number eight is, where do you see yourself in your YouTube channel in five years? Well, hopefully in five years, obviously my channel would have grown from where I am now. I hope to make many more friends. I've already made so many great friends here on YouTube. I would really love to make even more friends and connect with more people. I would really obviously love to maybe make some type of money off of this because I am a stay at home mom. So any type of extra income is awesome. I also would really love to have at least gone to a few of the conventions that YouTube does. I'm trying to go to the one next year that's going to be in Orlando. So that's also another goal of mine is to learn more about YouTube on the business side because I am still pretty new to YouTube so I don't know much about the business side. So I love to learn and I'm hoping that in five years I will be very educated here on YouTube and hopefully have a big subscriber count and making an income and have a lot, a lot of friends here. Cause like I said, I really do love making new friends on YouTube. Number nine, what inspired you to start making videos? So what inspired me honestly was just watching other fellow YouTubers. I have had my YouTube channel for many, many years. I first made my channel just so I can be able to subscribe to other channels. And I think I honestly watch more YouTube than I do cable TV. And I feel like I was able to connect with a lot of people here on YouTube just by commenting on their videos and watching them every single day. So I decided, since I'm a stay-at-home mom, I needed a hobby of my own. So I decided just to start my own channel and see where it would go and see if it was something that I can get passionate about, which honestly, right now I am so, so passionate about my YouTube channel. And I make my YouTube channel on things that I really do enjoy, which is DIY and shopping hauls and cleaning and organizing so I feel like I feel like I was really inspired by other youtubers number 10 who are some of your favorite youtubers so I have a lot of favorite youtubers I can probably be here all day naming large youtubers and smaller youtubers but I'm just going to name off a few youtubers that I really do love and, and enjoy and who I am subscribed to and probably watch on the daily so I will name a few large YouTubers and then I will name a few smaller YouTubers. So the first large YouTuber that I love to watch is Brittany and Baby. I love her personality. I love the way she is making her vlogs and she does do a few hauls here and there. Um, she has three kids. I don't know how she does it with three kids because I can barely do it with two, but she has three and I feel like I can kind of connect with her on a level because her son, Nolan, does have a special medical condition and my daughter as well has a special needs condition. So I feel like I can connect with her on that level. So I really do love to watch her channel. Second one is KK and Baby J. I honestly just discovered them, I would say late last year. And I really do love their channel. I think I really love them also because they live in Orlando, which is my hometown. So watching them kind of makes me feel like I'm still at home because everywhere they go, I swear, is places where I went or where I shopped or where I hung out. Um, and actually, the high school that Karen went to is actually the high school that I did my night school in when I lived in Orlando. So I think it's pretty cool to see all of that. And again, they're just a beautiful family and I really do enjoy their vlogs. Number three is Kathleen Lights. If you guys watch beauty videos, you will definitely know who Kathleen Lights is. She lives in Miami, which is also in Florida, which I used to own. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My husband came home and I needed to bring him to go get his work truck. But so as I was saying, Kathleen Lights is another favorite large YouTuber of mine that I really enjoy watching. She's hilarious. I feel like every time I watch her videos, I'm always laughing. And like I said, she lives in Miami, Florida, which is where I used to always go for like spring break and summer vacation because it was only about three hours from Orlando. So yeah, she's another person that I really do love watching. Um, I also really love Do It On A Dime. She does a lot of DIY and crafting. And as most of you guys know, I love DIY. I actually get a lot of my DIY ideas from her. So if you guys love DIY, especially doing it on a budget and affordable DIY, I would definitely check her out. She, like I said, she does a bunch of crafts and a lot of them are from Dollar Tree. 
Next person that I really love that is a large YouTuber is Paige Danielle. I love her channel. She's another one that I just discovered about a year ago and I'm so glad I did. She's also someone else that really makes me laugh and I really enjoy watching her videos. She does a lot of like cleaning and lifestyle videos. So I really enjoy her videos. And then the last and final person that I'll be naming on the larger YouTuber side is Whitney Simmons. Now she is a fitness and health YouTuber. I really enjoy watching her videos because she gives me a lot of workout ideas and also healthy meal options. So I've been following her for about two years and like I said, she's gorgeous and she has an amazing body. I would love to have her body one day, but she does have a lot of really, really good workouts. Now I'm going to name a few smaller YouTubers. And when I say smaller YouTubers, I mean YouTubers that probably have around the same subscriber count as me that I have connected with and who I feel like I have made friends with here on YouTube. First person is obviously going to be Danielle Minnesota Vlogs, which is who tagged me for this video. I love her channel. She has a lot of great content. She's super sweet. She has a little boy. And like I mentioned before, she does work full time. Plus she does her YouTube channel, which I think is awesome. I really love enjoying watching her videos and watching her grow. I think she deserves all the subscribers she can get. And I'm so glad that I met her here on YouTube and I really do consider her one of my good friends here on YouTube. Second person we're going to be naming is Joanna L. Newman. If you guys watch any of my previous videos, you would have heard her name before. I've done a collaboration video with her. And we also met up in person because we do both live here in Georgia. She's gorgeous. I love her. And I really do see us hanging out a lot more often. And the next person is going to be Catherine Martinez. She is also a stay-at-home mom. She lives in California. She does a lot of lifestyle and vlog videos on her channel. She has two little girls and she is expecting the third, another little girl on the way. And I just love her content. So if you guys are into lifestyle and healthy living videos, definitely go check her out. The next person is going to be Carrie Murphy. She's also a mom and we do a lot of similar videos. She does a lot of hauls and cleaning videos and I just love her style. She recently uploaded, I think it was her fall decor in her house and my jaw dropped. Like her house is gorgeous. I told her she needs to come to my house and help me decorate. I love her channel and I think she's so sweet and I definitely consider her one of my YouTube friends here. Next person is going to be Love My Mommy Life. I love her channel because she does so many cleaning and organizing videos that get me so motivated and her videos are so well put together. I love them and anytime I need any type of motivation, I always go to her channel and watch her videos. And the next person is going to be Candace Halligan. I'm so sorry Candace if I just butchered your last name. But I really do love her channel. She has a lot of hauls and cleaning and organizing videos. I believe she lives in Virginia. And I used to go to Virginia a lot because I used to live in Maryland. So I really do think if I still lived in Maryland, I would definitely probably want to meet up with her because she's just another really, really sweet YouTuber that I really enjoy watching. And then the last and final person I'm going to be naming is According to Alex. I really love Alex's channel. She's so sweet and pretty. She's a mom. I believe she lives in Florida. And I think we discovered each other about uh, maybe a month or two ago. And ever since I discovered, I've been like binge watching her videos. So yeah, that is going to be the last small YouTuber that I'm going to mention. But like I said, I have so many other YouTubers that I really enjoy watching and I consider YouTube friends, but I just don't wanna be here all day naming everyone. So now to question number 11. What does your username mean? My username is just my first and last name, so there really isn't a meaning behind it other than it just being my first and last name. I couldn't think of a YouTube channel name that I want to go for, so I just decided to go with my name. Number 12 is best thing about YouTube. I would say the best thing about YouTube is the friends that you make and the connections that you make with other people around the world. I have so many people that are subscribed to me that don't live in the States, that live out of state. And I just think it's awesome that you're able to connect and talk to so many people around the world. And you also get to meet people. Like I said, I met Joanna already in person. We both live in Georgia. So I think that is really awesome that I was already able to meet someone in person, but I just really love the community. Everyone's so supportive here, at least so far what I have experienced. I've experienced all positive here on my channel, which I really do like, and I really do like meeting new people. 
Number 13, what is the worst thing about YouTube? I would say the worst thing about YouTube is probably the competitiveness on YouTube. I know a lot of people are really competitive with views or subscribers and there's also, you know, internet trolls. I haven't personally experienced any mean or hateful comments yet just because I'm still so small, but I know eventually it's going to happen. I'm going to get mean comments or internet trolls. I would just say the competitive side of YouTube and also the internet trolls. But once that does happen to me where internet trolls start coming to my channel, I will just ignore and block them. Now, number 14 is what are your goals when it comes to YouTube? My goals is just to grow, just to grow as a person, grow my channel, meet more people. I would, like I said earlier, I would really love to make some type of income off of this channel. So if I can make money off of this, that would definitely benefit me just because I am a stay at home mom. Any extra money is going to be awesome. I would really love to learn editing. I'm not all that great on the editing side. I do do everything from my phone. So hopefully I will be getting a laptop soon so I can be able to edit a little better on the laptop. Um, I also want to learn more about the business side of YouTube. I'm not very educated on that side yet. So I think maybe going to a few conventions, I can learn a lot on that. So I would say business side, editing, and making a lot more new friends here on YouTube, as well as obviously growing my channel. And the last and final question is any advice for new YouTubers? My advice for any new YouTuber would be just be yourself and don't let anyone bring you down. There will be hate comments, there will be internet trolls. Don't let that get to you. Also, do videos that you're really passionate about, that you really enjoy, because if you start a channel and you do videos that you really don't like doing, it's not going to last and you're not going to continue your channel. So definitely make sure you're doing videos that you really like and that you really enjoy. And know that the YouTube community is such a great community. You will make really good friends and you will be able to connect with so many people around the world. And I think that in itself is worth it when you're making such great friends and connecting with people. And also just Google. Google is going to be your best friend. When I started my YouTube channel, I Googled so much to learn how to edit and I'm still learning on how to edit. I Googled how to make my little banner. I Googled how to make my intros and all that. So if you don't know how to make something, it's okay. Just Google it. Just even on YouTube, just in the search bar, anything that you are trying to learn how to do, just type it out in the search bar on YouTube and more than likely there will be a lot of videos that will pop up that you can watch that will help you. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this new YouTuber tag. I hope you guys enjoy getting to know me a little more. I definitely enjoyed making this video. It was a video that I've been wanting to do, but just haven't gotten around. So by Danielle tagging me, it definitely motivated me to get this video done. So if any of you guys have not done this new YouTuber tag, then consider yourself tagged and definitely make a video of this of your own. If you do, comment down below, let me know that you made a new YouTuber tag so I can go check it out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.